Today we're taking a little boardwalk. Uh, it is not in the direction you're looking at. It's actually 180 degrees to the left or right. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm just going to spin around. And now you can see this is our challenge for the day. How are we going to walk from one end to the other without tripping over, without annoying anyone, without falling into the water, and generally speaking, enjoying ourselves as we move from west to east, because that's what we're going to do. Um, it is a favorite spot. It's once the sun comes out, you see a few people, you can hear, see some tourists, probably waiting for a train or waiting for something. Um, but often you see people hanging out here, uh, lying down, not doing very much. Uh, it's, uh, I, I, I have a couple, I made a couple of time lapses a few, I think a few years ago, a couple of years ago, and on those time lapses, there was a lady, and you have this whole process of her finding the right, right uh, lying down position. So that was pretty funny to see. But in the meantime, we just continue on our little, um, I suppose you could say, little journey. Uh, catching a bit of sun. It's funny, you have these like on-off days at the moment, as if the weather is still not sure what it wants to do. Is it spring? Is it still winter? So yesterday was a little sharp. Whereas today it's it's much much calmer. Uh, the shadow is because we are now um, well the sun is on the other side of this restaurant. It's floating Chinese restaurant that you can sort of see a little bit. Even though this isn't our main uh, what can I say? It's not really our main issue today. It's just simply walking along these planks of wood. Um, uh, boardwalk is is. I think an American term. I mean, it's sort of like a pier. Or, I don't know, actually know what it's called in Let's English. Make garlic it's funny how many pieces of the city we use all the time. And yet we don't really know what they're called. It, it is that place. It is not a thing. It is just that place. Or if it is a thing, it's the thing that lets us hang out, lets us play, lets us watch films, or whatever. So that's um, that part. Meanwhile, we're still going strong. I suspect in total it will take about five minutes at this very, very gentle pace to get to the end. Uh, let's just have a look up there. You can see the library. So let's get back to our board. I'm not going to swing to the right, which would be sort of in a southern direction, because were I to do that, you would be instantly blinded by the sun and then I'll be sued and everything would come to an end, an unfortunate end. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. I don't really have that much to chat about. It, it's funny, there's some days when I have a lot to say, or the days when I have nothing to say, and this is one of those days where I have a lot of things to think about, nice things, actually, which means I just ramble on, you know, people sitting, a lot of casual wear. Try and imagine what it would be like. Imagine this existed, let's say, 70 years ago. So if this existed 70 years ago, well, what would people wear? You know, you'd have hats, a lot of suits, uh, a lot more formal. Why do I think of that right now? Um, I think a memory of when they were putting the Apple Store together. Uh, around the building they had these boards with very large photographs of uh, of what that part of Amsterdam looked like and I remember standing in front of one of those boards and looking at the way people were dressed and it was quite incredible it was it just looked so so bizarre you know well times change I'm sure if somebody from there made it to over here they would freak out quite quickly um, by the way, what you're looking at, that boat-like object, is Nemo. Renzo Piano is the architect, and he swears that it has nothing whatsoever to do with the boat. Or at least that's what I heard. I haven't spoke to him personally. But for everyone else, it looks like a boat. And, uh, I think you should ask children, because they're quite honest in how they see things and what they believe things to be. So, we're now at the end of our... No, we're not. We're close to the end of this uh, particular journey. 
Uh, don't worry, I wouldn't jump into the water. I'll start water skiing like James Bondios. I'll just get to the end, turn around. And I suppose from that point, we'll be able to say, ciao. But we're not there yet. Aha, uh -huh. of course not. Um, yeah, there are a couple of temporary structures you'll see because there's a lot of building work going on in Amsterdam at the moment. I suppose around the world, things are always changing. Um, all right, here we are at the very end. One, two, three, four. That's it. Okay, I'll just sort of spin around. So there you see this board of some new project coming up. I think it's the head office of uh, Booking.com. They have the conservatory, the library, and I think we were just in time because the clouds have covered everything up and the sun has gone away for just a little bit. Okay, see you then. Bye.